Top of the morning to you and welcome to this edition of How to Write. I'm Matt Windle, former Young Poet Laureate, Birmingham Poet Laureate as well as professional boxer and today we'll be looking at how to write limericks. So let's get started. is a short five-line poem that is often comical and nonsensical. The exact origin of the limerick is shrouded in folklore and mystery and although no one knows for sure, the limerick form is thought to have originated in France during the Middle Ages. An 11th century manuscript demonstrates the limerick's rhythm. The lion is wondrous strong and full of the wiles of woe and whether he play or take his prey he cannot do but slow. The five line form contains three lines with trimeter, a three beat rhythm that appears in the first, second and fifth lines with a dimeter which is a two beat rhythm that appears in the third and fourth lines. Whilst this rhyme scheme of A, B, C, C, B differs from an Irish limerick, the similarity is obvious. Although there is lots of information online surrounding the limerick's origin, I'd like to give a special mention to webexhibits.org for providing such unique detail. Five centuries later, William Shakespeare used the limerick's rhythm in Stefano's drinking song in The Tempest, as well as in Othello and King Lear. Yet it wasn't until the early 1700s that saw the limerick brought to Ireland. In one version of the story, the name derives from Irish soldiers returning home singing a folk song called Will You Come Up to Limerick, which is a city and county in Ireland. Made up verses were added in between the chorus of the song, which would be fairly similar to a modern day freestyle. Over the years, many people have commented on how difficult the word limerick is to perfectly rhyme with. So for your first task, see if you can think of a word that rhymes with limerick, just for fun, and leave your suggestions in the comments. So now that we know some of its history, let's take a look at what makes a limerick. A limerick is a five-line poem which sees a triplet separated by a couplet. This means that it has an A A. B, B, A rhyme scheme. Lines 1, 2 and 5 have a trimeter, which means a three beat rhythm, and lines 3 and 4 are shorter with a dimeter, which is a two beat rhythm. If you're unsure as to what feet or beats are within sentences, then visit my How to Write Rhyming Couplets video for greater clarity. The first, second and fifth lines of a limerick tend to have between 7 and 10 syllables and lines 3 and 4 usually have between 5 and 7 syllables. Here's the limerick that explains how to write one. Limericks do have to rhyme on the first, second and the fifth line. You know what to do, lines 3 and 4 too, if you do that it will all be fine. Here's the first poem that I ever wrote way back during the first year of primary school in year three. It just so happens to be a limerick. There was an old man from York who ate with a knife and a fork. He boarded a plane which took him to Spain, though Spanish he could not talk. Limericks are really good for enabling people to incorporate hyperbole into their work. Here's an exaggerated limerick about me. There's a mustachioed poet named Matt, who ate chocolate until he was fat. He continued to scoff till his trousers ripped off and there's nothing more tragic than that. If you haven't watched my How to Write Rhymes video, then you should go and check it out, as that discusses different types of rhyming, with one integral ingredient for some rhymes to work being accents. Here's another limerick of mine, where the rhymes only work in a black country accent. There was a man from the black country who could understand what most people would say because they don't talk proper, not like him and his papa. They all sound the little funny. Poetry, not just limericks, can be really beneficial for revision and memory retention. I deliver poetry maths revision sessions for GCSE students and here's a limerick created by a British wordplay and mathematics expert Lee Mercer for the equation that you can see on your screen right now. A dozen, a gross and a score, 
plus 3 times the square root of 4. Divided by 7 plus 5 times 11 is 9 squared and not a bit more. If you think that poetry may help you for your revision process, then check out my maths revision poem, Mathematics Attack. So what does your limerick have to be about? Well, that's up to you or your teacher, but you can be really random with this one. You may write about a hobby of yours. You could write a funny personal limerick about your nan, your little brother, or even yourself. You may write about a ghost that appears from your toilet at five to midnight every night, or you could talk about your pet wanting to join a local gang. It's supposed to be crazy. That's how you write a limerick. So enjoy being creative and cheeky and leave what you come up with in the comments so I can read them. ta a bit.